Earlier this year, we did a review on the Narvitech NJ300 capture card. And of course, the fine folks at Narvitech asked us to do a tutorial with this particular card on streaming your Steam Deck. And as we all know, streaming the Steam Deck is super easy. If you like our content, please enable notifications, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and join our Discord server in the description below. High Tech Low Life is also affiliated with the Steam Deck Discord. Links in the description below. This video is sponsored by Narvitech, who were gracious enough to send Kyoko a capture card of her own. The first thing to do is to obviously unbox the package. So we already unboxed a Narvitech capture card, but we're gonna do it again, because why not? Yeah, gut that box like a fish. You know you wanna. Here's a handy dandy little helpful guide. We're not gonna need this though, so you know. They also graciously provide you two CD keys for products, which we're not gonna show you because, well, you know, because it's ours. As you can see here, there's our HDMI cable. Everyone's got an HDMI cable, so you don't need to open this if you don't need to. There's our USB-C cable, which we definitely need. And here's a set of headphone wires, just in case you need to record, you know, team comms or whatever. We're not going to be needing that either. And finally, let's get to the star of the show, our Narvitech capture card. I have said that I'm a fan of the feel and ergonomics, but honestly, we're not going to be holding a capture card that often. Here you go. Here's the capture card. All of the ports are labeled, so you know which ports are which. Here's your two headphone jacks, presumably for team comms. And there's your USB-C port, which you need for sure. And over here you have your HDMI in and HDMI out. Setting it up is pretty easy. All you have to do is plug in your USB 3 cable into the capture card and plug that into your PC. Be careful not to mix up the HDMI in and HDMI out devices, otherwise you're not going to be able to record anything. So the HDMI out wire goes to your external display, you know, like a TV or monitor or something like that, you know? And that leaves one more HDMI port, the HDMI in port. This is where your console goes. You would typically plug this into your console and then plug the other end into the HDMI in. As you can see here, the Steam Deck doesn't have any HDMI ports. What are we to do? Well, here's what you would do. You would plug it into a dock of some sort. The dock doesn't really matter as long as it outputs video. And this is the part where you plug that dock into your Steam Deck. As for which docks are compatible, honestly, there's no real definitive list yet. But you'll want a dock that has USB power delivery, because it doesn't really output video otherwise. And there you go. You did all of the wiring up and stuff. The next step is to do the software side of things. So today we're using OBS. First, you want to add a video capture device. And you can name it whatever you want. We're going to name it Narvitech Capture Card. You'll want to make sure the device says Narvi Capture U3 HD 64K video, and then you press OK. Don't forget to activate your capture card. Next is the audio. Be sure to select Audio Input Capture, and then you can name it whatever you want. And you'll want to make sure the device is set to Narvi Capture U3 HD 64K, you know, whatever. Press OK, and there you go. You've got audio. Now what can you do with all of this? Well, you can start recording some gameplay. And as you can see here, the Steam overlay stuff works. You can still see the performance metrics. However, here's the thing though, there are some weird caveats, many of which are the fault of the Steam decks. For instance, when you plug your Steam Deck into a dock, it only displays on the external display, and also OBS. Nothing will show on the Steam Deck screen, so it makes it kind of difficult to play games handheld and also stream at the same time. Second is that games will still render at 1280 by 800 despite the fact that they may at times be blown up to higher resolution screens, you know, like TVs or in this case a 1080p monitor. You'll always see vertical letterboxing on both the left and right sides of the screen. This combined with games that do letterboxing the top and bottom, and it's almost like you just have like this bezel around the entire screen. And this happens when games aren't made to accommodate the 16x10 aspect ratio of the Steam Deck screen. Of course, this can be edited in post. Just turn off your performance metrics. Without further ado, here's some unedited gameplay footage.